Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rupnika and you are watching Natural Vibration. Today I'm recording this video early. It's on, today is the full moon in Taurus and uh, I am recording this video early for you guys because I will probably put it up the following week. Today's topic is about surrendering. This full moon has really kicked my ass. Uh, I mean, um, I didn't expect to be triggered so much, but the last two days I've been massively triggered. Um, everything that has been going on um, that hasn't progressed in the way I would like it to, from my medical stuff to the twin flame journey to my finances, um, they're all sort of like coming up. And I feel like the biggest lesson for me at, during this time is surrendering. And I wanted to talk to you guys about that today. You know, we keep talking about manifesting what we want and working on ourselves and being focused on what we want. And that is important. But I also feel that what ends up happening is that we don't surrendering. We don't surrender. And there is an art of surrendering that is very, very important in any aspect of our life. Not just the twin flame journey, but just everything. And Surrendering doesn't happen when we're so attached to what we want, you know. We already discussed shadow work and after dealing with the shadow work, we talk about, you know, setting our intentions right, asking for what we want, and then we have to let go. The biggest lesson is that we don't let go. You know, we keep thinking about what we want, we keep hoping about it, and when things don't happen in our timeline the way we want it to, we start getting worked up and we start, you know, getting upset and we start, you know, getting into the lower vibrations of then we start praying or whatever it is that we want to do. The art of surrendering is basically letting go and allowing the universe or God to take control. It's like, you know, let go and let God, you know, that's the same. It's about knowing that things may not happen the way we want them to is knowing that what we want may not even come to pass. You know, what we want may not happen, what you want may not happen in the timeline we want, but there is nothing we can do right now except surrender. So when it comes to my medical stuff, I really got triggered because I am doing everything I can. You know, I don't think I can do anything more from my diet change to, and I've put on so much weight and I'm, I'm doing a one meal a day diet just because I've been told to lose weight quickly and my weight is not moving, you know? <laughs> I was just like, what more am I supposed to do? I'm trying to be healthy. I'm not eating junk food. I'm not drinking. I'm not smoking. I've given up coffee, which is the biggest and most you know difficult thing for me because I'm a caffeine addict. <laughs> you know, I'm glad my body's clean, but you know, when times are rough, you really need something, you know? But from my aspect, I'm like, okay, I've done everything that I can and things are not going, there is no light at the end of the tunnel, you know, and it gets too much and you just feel like giving up because you're like, what's the point? Even with this twin flame journey, we've gone through so much, we've done so much and some of us are in separation for years and years and without anything coming our way, we're doing all the work and yet nothing is coming and you're just like, what's the point why are we doing all of this you know i just want to give up and that's when we have to understand and this is the lesson i'm going through right now is that it's not about giving up it's about surrendering giving up is when you're like okay nothing's gonna happen and be in depression surrendering is where you're like you know what i have done whatever i can now besides this if it has to happen if it has to work out for me in whatever timeline, that is up to the universe. The universe knows what is good for me. The universe knows what is the right time for this to work out because we don't know the other factors. We, don't, we can only see our world, but we don't know what the other factors outside us is, you know, and what the right time for things to happen for us is. So you just have to go with the, you just have to at this point surrender to the universe. So my plan for today is a full moon and I am going to write my intentions down, but I'm just going to talk to the universe and be like, you know, I am feeling this and I don't know what to do anymore. 
So I am surrendering this to you. If you feel this is the right thing for me, then you will make this happen. But if you don't, that just means something better is waiting for me. And that is what you have to remind yourself. Surrendering is not giving up on the dream. Surrendering is giving up on the need to force it to happen, on the need of wanting, wanting it to happen right away. It's about allowing the universe to send you whatever is best for you, whether it's the, your dream or something better, because there'll always in the long run be something better. And we always tend to forget that. You know, when something doesn't work out, maybe at that moment you feel really shitty and low, but you know after a while something better will come along and you're like, okay, that didn't work out for a reason and I'm glad it didn't work out, right? But we don't see it when we're in it. We only see it, you know, hindsight later on. So that is something you have to remind yourself. So guys, this is uh, the art of surrendering and I hope you guys are doing a better job at it than I am. This was a quick little chat about it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you, what's going on with you. And if you have any, you know, tools to be able to surrender faster, I would love to hear it and, you know, love to share it with people. So take care. Bye.